The fourth person is the jail administrator, Larry Hendricks. The jail is behind me. We walked to the jail and we met him at the door. I'm Gary Tuckman with CNN. Nice to meet you, we, we, we were hoping we can give you a chance to have your say about these audio tapes. Gary, I, w I would love to, uh, but right now I've been advised to, to give no comments. As soon as I'm told I can make something available, if you leave me your number, I'd be glad to give you I'm happy to leave you the number, but would you admit that that was your voice on these tapes? I've been told to make no comments. Do you feel bad about what happened? Do you feel bad about the things that were said? Sir, I've been instructed to make no comments. I appreciate you guys stopping by. You're very polite. I, I'm just wondering if you can just personally say if you, how you feel, though, about it. I've, I've been instructed to make no comments. Because this could be a good time to say, I'm, I'm sorry I made comments like that. I, that's not me. That's not who I am. I, I understand where you're going. I've been instructed to make no comments. For some reason, I feel like McCurtain County Jail Administrator Larry Hendricks has been advised not to say anything when it comes to the insensitive, racist, and potentially illegal conversations that he and his colleagues were having that were caught on tape. It's a new approach, considering they had a lot to say before. I heard, I heard the other day, said, I heard 10 or 12 people going to your sheriff. I said, let's get 20. They don't have a goddamn clue what they're getting into. Yeah. 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 Oh, it, yeah, not this day it's and age. A, it's a, but, but everybody... But I want to tell you something. If it was back in the day, would that like when Alan Marshall take a damn blackjack, whoop their ass, and throw them in the cell, I'd run for the chair. Yeah, well, it's not like that no more. I know. <laughs> take them down to a mud creek and hang them up with a damn rope. Yeah. But you can't and do the that. Thing about it, they got yeah. more rights than we got. How's about that conversation about hiring a hitman to murder journalists who had reported about McCurtain County deputies that had tased a Choctaw Nation citizen who later died? What they really don't know is they. And that's, see, that's the thing about it, 20 years ago, I would have done something like that. I'm a, uh, 20 years ago, I wouldn't have put in a position. You know? They're insignificant in my life. Yes. Really. They, they bring the whole thing. It goes around, around goes around it. It's, it will. I told you it will. Yeah. Well, I know where two big deep holes are here. I've got an escalator. Well, these are our free dug. Yeah, but the thing of it is, you know. We actually told the I've truth. Know, I've known two or three hit men that are very quiet guys. Yeah. And would cut no fucking mercy. Yeah. In Louisiana. Because it was all mafia around yeah. Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Or maybe it was the heartless discussion where they joked about the death of Danette Stowe, who had escaped her burning home, but went back inside to save her pets. And it did not make it out. On a bar bar, you know, we wrap it up tenfold to preserve the body and stuff like that. And then we put the, get the, all the body parts and stuff like that. And uh, Kyle was out there today. All the body part. Oh, she come apart. Yeah, just the part bodies. I know. I, I picked up. And uh, they really child. fall apart when they're burnt. Man. Yeah. And you never it. had barbecue. That's another. Yeah. Same. I'm hungry. Kyle looks at the face, glasses and they got to wrap the tin full and put her in the body bag. Kyle goes, you do know what we got to do now, right? And the face goes, no, what? She goes, she got to preheat the oven 350 degrees, leave her in there for 15 minutes. And she went, <laughs> With absolutely no redeeming qualities detected, Governor Kevin Stitt called from a Curtin County Sheriff Kevin McClarty, County Commissioner Mark Jennings, Sheriff's Investigator Alicia Manning, and the now tight-lipped jail administrator Larry Hendricks to all step down.